Stay tuned to the end of the episode for a special announcement. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? If I were you, I'd lock my doors before listening to our final chapter. This is a story of Donna, a young girl who was left home alone one night for a little too long. There once was a 15-year-old named Donna. Her mother died when she was very young, and it was just her and her dad ever since, living in a peaceful suburb. They had grown incredibly close over the years. They would always know what the other was thinking, and even feel when the other was near. Some joked that they were psychically connected. One morning, Donna and her father were having breakfast. I've got a meeting later today, he said. I'll be home late, so don't wait up for me. He left some cash for her to order dinner, kissed her on the head, and headed out the door. Later that day, Donna came back home from school. Usually her dad would be home from work at this time, so it was weird coming home to such a still and quiet house. So she sat at the kitchen table and started to do some homework. Suddenly, she felt a sharp pain in her neck. It went away as quickly as it came, so she decided to ignore it. Ow! Her neck stung again. The pain was getting more and more intense. She ran to the freezer to grab an ice pack and placed it on her neck. The pain began to fade away. I wonder what that was all about, she thought to herself. It was now eight o'clock and still no word from her dad. She figured she could wait up a little longer for him and decided to order some pizza. Hi, I'd like to make an order. Yeah, sure, I can hold. The subject is still on the loose. The police are recommending everybody lock their doors and windows and not answer the door for anybody, especially at night. Hi, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? It was getting pretty late and she began to doze off on the couch and dream. She was a little girl again, in the house she used to live in when her mom was still alive. Donna was sitting at the kitchen table and she looked over at the stove where a woman with her back turned was making breakfast. Mom? The woman turned around. It was her mother. She walked over to the table and placed a plate of eggs in front of Donna. She whispered in her ear, Don't open the door. What? Suddenly, she found herself standing on the side of a busy highway, cars flying past her. She could hear someone calling her name in the distance. Donna! 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 Donna. Across the highway, she began to make out a figure. It was her dad. Donna, Donna don't, don't open, open the, the door. door. Dad, I can't hear you. Where are you? Don't, don't open, open the door. Donna sat up on the couch. What a weird dream. Felt so real. The doorbell rang again. Oh, my food's here. She stood up and started walking towards the door, but stopped when she passed a window. It was a lot darker outside than she remembered. How long was I asleep for? She looked at her phone. It was 1 a.m. She called up the stairs. Dad, are you home? The doorbell began to ring more persistently. Dad, is that you? She went to the door and looked through the peephole. It was her dad, finally. She went to slide the lock open, but quickly locked the door again. Something wasn't right. She didn't have that feeling when she knew her dad was nearby. Then she remembered her father's voice from her dream. Don't, Don't open, open the, the door. door. She looked through the peephole again. Dad, are you okay? Did you forget your keys? Is someone there with you? Dad, why are you acting really weird? The doorbell kept ringing. I need you to answer me. I'm not opening this door until you answer me. The ringing went on and on and on. She didn't know what to do. Eventually, she collapsed on the floor in tears and ended up falling asleep next to the front door to the seemingly never-ending bell. Donna woke up the next morning on the doormat. The doorbell had stopped ringing. Dad, are you home? No reply. She looked inside the peephole. Her dad was still there, staring at her just as he had the night before. She carefully opened the door and froze. Her father's head stared back at her. On the ground was a note. I know, I know you're all alone now. Thanks for watching. Do you have any ideas for future volumes? I'd love to hear them in the comments. Want something scary for your phone? Make your home screen haunted with our new wallpapers available to download now for free. And for a limited time, you can now purchase a something scary poster. For more information, click the link in the description below. Like this video if it gave you the chills, and don't forget to subscribe to Snarls and check out our other videos. And if you dare to follow me, my links are in the description below. Until next time, sweet dreams.